Well, let's reflect on an amazing witness performance as well, though. And one star uh, player who was instrumental in that, Kyle Amor. How was that out there? <laughs> oh, look, it was it was good fun. You know, uh, I'm sure the guys will have spoken about last week at Bradford. I felt we lost that game. I thought we, I thought we were really sloppy in that final 20 minutes. They were just as bad, mind you, but they managed to get us on a scrum play at the end. But tonight, I just thought we outfoxed the team. I thought we moved the ball incredibly well. They came with a big bench, and, and, and for me, it screamed a mindset of the, where they were coming straight down the middle. They started like an house on fire, mind you. You know, we come up with a cup, we contributed to that, didn't we? But I thought from then on, you know, I thought our spine tonight was incredible. Our nine, six, seven, and one were really, really good tonight. And how did you pick yourself up from that slow start? Oh well, you, you've just got to just you've just got to stick to the process, really, and you've got to trust that you know these games at this level are crazy. You know, the results tell you that. You know, one minute you could be performing really well, then the next minute you go through a horrible patch, and you know you've just got to stick to everything that you've been trying at training, Ross. And uh, you know, we one thing we have done at times this year is we've absorbed an awful lot of pressure near our goal line, which is very, very pleasing. But you know, I thought the three tries they scored, two of them were right in the corner. And if you're going to concede a try, then you know, if sometimes you've just got to say, well, fair play if you can get it down in the corner. Kyle, I've got a couple of questions on the plan tonight. You mentioned your spine. Was a plan to put the balls in the corner because it looked like you did that all night, over and over? Yeah, Kev, that's something, we've, that, that's something that we've done really, really well. Last week against Bradford, the first half in particular, I think they only sort of were anywhere near our line for maybe two sets the whole half. I thought we controlled an awful lot of the, uh, an awful lot of the field position through that, through Danny Craven's kicks. And I thought even at times in the second half, you know, even when the scoreboard was heavily in our favour, just that discipline, just to turn the ball over three metres from the line and just say, go on then, lads, you've got 97 metres if you want to get anything off us. Yeah, and, and the second part of the plan is, was it a plan to take you off after 15, 20 minutes to start going good? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to roll with that, can we can roll with that. <laughs> no, no, brilliant. Kyle, brilliant. on a personal level, I mean, some people think that dropping down from Super League to Championship is going to be easy and a bit of a walk in the park after spending so, mm. so long in the Super League. But how are you finding it? Because I know, this level is a tough, tough brand of rugby league. It's physical. It is, yeah. It's tough. How's the body finding it? How are you finding no, it? No, but I, look, I'm enjoying it. You know, I think I'll, I'll be really honest. I think it took me from about you know till about Christmas time to fully to fully accept where I was. And you know the the intensity isn't there. These lads have got full time jobs as well. And you know, so it is it is different. It is different. But in another way, it's the pressure's off. So it's, you can have fun. And when you play like how we did tonight. It really, really does make it enjoyable. So, you know, it is a long, tough year. And, and, and again, you only have to look at the results to see that teams are finding consistency hard. You know, is that a reflection on, on the division and the quality within the division? Or, or, or is it just the, the, you know, the ebbs and flows of professional sport? I don't know. But, you know, we've got a really tough game next week over at Sheffield as well. And Kyle, give us a bit of an insight into a John Key. Key a masterclass of team talks is a is a motivator of men and you know yeah. like for saying the underdog title that he likes. Give us a bit of insight into John oh, well, Key's team talks and stuff. Yeah, well, John fully fully John fully believed this week that we'd get the job done tonight. You know, I didn't see that scoreline coming. I'll be really honest, but you know, John's all about uh, you know his, his man management's really good. Uh, his ability to sort of create a narrative, a story, that underdog mentality you're talking about is really good, and he comes out with some cracking one-liners. I can't obviously say them here, but the, the, you know they are brilliant. How good can this team be? We mentioned the players you've got sat in the stands, some, some terrific players, probably yeah. five who you'd expect to play every yeah. week. How good can it be, this team? Yeah, and I think that's one thing that you know we haven't mentioned as a group, really, the fact that we are down to sort of the last 19, 20 players. We've got, you know, Owen Farmworth, um, Gilly, Gilly has sat out there as well, Jordan Johnson. You know, those players who, who would probably get in any starting 13 of any championship club. So, uh, look, it, it, you know, we've just got to just keep working hard. Our, our goal, Kev, is is the playoffs you know this club hasn't been in the playoffs ever since it was relegated and we can't look any further than that i think if we start doing that we're, we're kidding ourselves because you know for those reasons you know the last four or five seasons haven't been good enough for this big club so we need to make sure that, that we're doing everything right to, to, to get it to get a playoff place and i just want to know kyle you're on tv so much these days how do you find time to play rugby league <laughs> oh look i just enjoy it you know i'm a massive nerd about the game you know that <laughs> ross so uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just enjoying it. It was actually Kev one time, he might not remember, in his coffee shop told me that once you retired, that's it, you're done. So, you know, last year when I was thinking and um and ah and about not going round again, uh, I took Kev's, uh, Kev's advice. Oh, well, we've loved watching you back in the game. So Cheers, thank you. 